everyone. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Thank you for asking me. I can some people saying great, some people saying tired. I can some people saying I'm I'm fine. Thank you and you. Well, again, thank you for asking me because I'm really great these days because of this nice weather. Last month it was like Africa, 37.6 degrees, but it's really cool town and I'm really enjoying this. I'm really enjoying this weather. Well, this reminds me of my childhood when I loved to ride inline skates and bicycles. I know you can't believe it, me being active, but I really was active. Well, just 10 years ago, when I was eight, when I looked like this, <laughs> I want my cousins and I wanted to go to home plus by riding our bicycles because we loved riding them. It took about 25 minutes on foot to go there. But back in the day, there were no cycling lanes around my house and home plus and in between them. So my mom didn't allow us to go because it was too dangerous. I cursed the absence of cycling lane. I hated the mayor for not making those lanes. Well, now there is a long cycling lane that connects my house and home plus. I can go there anytime. But what matters now is my laziness. Anyway, <laughs> cycling lanes are not something you would think about deliberately. You don't really think about it. Do you remember the first time you saw one? Mm, I don't. Do you think you saw it on your way here? Um, I don't think so. I don't know for sure. But since the day I hated the mayor, cycling lanes have been developed. Literally developed. A lot of new lanes have been made and I think it's a good progress. But do you really know about cycling lanes? Put your hand on your heart like this and try to answer this question. Did you know that there are four different types of cycling lanes? No. no. Well, that's my, that was my expectation. <laughs> Nobody would know that unless you enjoy riding bicycles. And even if you enjoy riding it, I don't think you would know that. So, here are the four types of cycling lanes. 자전거 전용도로, 자전거 전용차로, 자전거 보행장 경영도로, and 자전거 우선도로. This is according to Ministry of Justice. Let's take a closer look at them. Oops. First, 자전거 전용도로 is something like this. There are artificial structures that separate the road and sidewalk from the cycling lane. It is the example of a 자전거 전용도 only separate from the road there, the check. There is no sidewalk here. On the other hand, 자전거 전용 차로 doesn't have artificial structures. It is, only, it is usually distinguished from the traffic lanes by long white lines or sign that indicate this is 자전거 전용도, 자전거 전용 차로. But you don't really see 자전거 전용도로 nor 자전거 전용 차로 because it's rare. According to Korean statistics, only about 12% of the whole lane is 자전거 전용 도로 and 전용 차로. So, what you see every day would be 자전거 보행자 경영 도로. It looks like this. And it consists of majority, 85%. It is right next to the sidewalk, so this would be the 자전거 도로 that you would think of. Finally, there is 자전거 우선 도로, but this is the rarest one. It only consists 3%. And the difference between 자전거 전용 도로, 전용 차로, and this one is that cars can use this lane. It says right here, 자전거와 자동차는 도로를 함께 사용합니다. It is 자전거 우선, so bicycles are on the high priority, but cars can also use this lane. Well, today I will focus on 자전거 보행자 경영 도로, because it is the one that is highly related to your life. So from now on, when I say cycling lane, please think of 자전거 보행자 경영도로, the bike ped pedestrian using the road together, kind of cycling lane. Okay, everybody cool? Until yes. now? Yes. yes. Thank you. So, cycling lanes. The thing is that there are a lot of cycling lanes that are occupied by something else. Like this. Cars, roadside trees, telephone pole, so on and so forth. If you pay a little attention to cycling lanes, it is amazingly easy to find these kind of lanes. Then, 
let's think about how you would feel if you are a bike rider. On a sunny day, you're riding your bicycle, nice and slow. It is a perfect weather for a picnic, and you're enjoying this perfection, riding your bicycle on the cycling lane. Like this. Hmm. Nice weather, oh, it's perfect. Uh-oh, suddenly, you find some cars parked on the cycling lane 50 meters away from you. The cycling lane you're riding your bike on is already tight because of the roadside trees, and there are cars blocking your way. But there is no option for you. You have to ride your bicycle on the sidewalk for a moment. And people are walking there. Urgh, you start to grow angry. But there is really no option. Sidewalk and, si sidewalk and cycling lanes are both occupied. You choose to get off your bicycle and walk. Your perfection broke. Does this story sound nice? No. Uh, I think I would want to call the car driver and yell at him. Why did you park here? But this would not help solving the main problem. Aha, uh -huh, right. There are some underlying problems in this situation. The cycling lane is never big enough for riders. Can you see this picture? It is near here in front of Kenyon College. And we can see that cycling lanes have been developed. These lanes didn't exist 10 years ago. And now they do. It is a huge progress. But wait, you can easily find the mistake of the local government too. The bus station on the cycling lane? Why the telephone pole and trash bin is occupying half of the cycling lane? Come on, do you think two bike riders would pass through these kind of lanes? No, they cannot. It is impossible. We need some immediate change. It is time for the local government to fix this problem. In addition, there are some things that Korean government can do. Do you remember this car driver who parked his car on the cycling lane? Yeah, yeah I mentioned him before. Well, if you pay a, pay a little attention to your surroundings this time, you would easily find these kind of drivers. There are people who think it is okay to park on cycling lanes. And it causes a lot of uncomfortableness in our life. So how can we change this uncomfortable situation? The answer is through legal restriction and continuous education. Mm, no legal restriction and continuous education. Isn't this so obvious? <laughs> well, you can say that, but it actually has some great effects. Let me introduce you a famous example of this. 20 years ago, fastening your seatbelt was not compulsory. It was not a law. So many people didn't fasten their seatbelt. Therefore, when a car accident happened, many people died. So a new law was made. It became a duty for people to fasten their seatbelts. And many people follow that law. This is the legal restriction part. And the government actively promoted the importance of fastening one's seatbelt. This is the continuous education part. So, if the government tries harder to crack down illegal parking, which is legal restriction, and try to change the perception of people who think it is okay to park on cycling lanes, the continuous education part, if they do these two steps, then this would bring a good result too, just like the seatbelt case. Then, is it okay for us to sit here and wait for the government to do something, like a couch potato who does nothing but lying on the couch watching TV? In this case, watching the government? No, we cannot be a couch potato. There are some things that you can do. And the first thing is to keep an eye on the government. Check out whether they are doing something right or wrong. If they are doing something right, it's good. But if they are doing something wrong, then it is time for you to raise your voice. There are a lot of things that you can do. You can submit petition, get people's signature, or you can write something on Facebook, or any SMS that you use. 
like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Mm, I don't know. I don't have SNS. I don't use Facebook. I have no Instagram account. Am I okay to be a couch potato? No, you cannot be a couch potato. There is one more thing that you can do. Try not to walk on cycling lanes if possible. Many cycling lanes are not that big. It's literally cute and little. And most of them are occupied, something else, occupied by something else. Cars, the trees, telephone pole. So if people are walking on cycling lane, then bike riders would have to ride their bikes on the sidewalk where they are not allowed to ride their bicycles. And if people are walking both on cycling lanes and sidewalk, then there is nowhere for the bike riders to ride their bicycles. So when you're walking, please be aware of where you're stacking on. If you're on the cycling lane, move quickly to sidewalk. This is the idea that I wanted to spread to all of you. Everyone, please read this sentence out loud. Please, na, With your little help, Korea can be a better place to live in. I know that many of you had no idea what cute little cycling lanes were before you came here, but now you do. The cycling lanes are literally cute and little. So, I hope you can pay a little more attention to cycling lanes on your way home. Thank you for listening.